Hi, welcome back to Toy Crush. Today we're going to be doing the Lego Mixels Meltus. This is a series for Mixel, and this is for ages 6 plus and has 66 pieces. And this is what the completed character should look like. On the back, you can see there's different um, ones that you can do. And this says there's Meltus, Bernard, Flameser, and it says Infernites Mac. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this Mixel and get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'll actually go down here at the bottom. And inside you get some instructions and then you get your package of pieces. So, I'm going to go ahead and open these package of pieces. so that we can lay all of them out to get started. So here's all of our pieces for Meltus and our instructions. And it's quite a thick book. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So here are all the pieces that it comes with and I've kind of organized them so that you can see all of them. These are all the pieces that comes with making the Mixel. And then of course we have the instructions and the instructions are right here. And we're gonna go ahead and open them and follow along with the instructions to do everything we need to do. So for the first couple of steps, we've got our instructions. I'll do my best to set those back here. All right, so the first thing we need is this piece right here. This is the same as this one on the sheet. And we are going to take the two gray pieces and put it on the insides. So I'm gonna put one gray piece going right here on the inside and one gray piece going here. And then step number three tells us that we need to take a four piece red, which is this one right here, and we're going to add it over top of that. And then over top of the whole thing, we're gonna add this six piece brick on this end. And we're going to add this brick onto the back end. And then our last step for this stage is to put these two pieces on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those pieces. And we're gonna put one on here and one on here. So that when we have finished it for this page, it looks like this. So continuing with it, now on the, on the step six, we're going to add these black pieces on. So the first ones we're going to add on is a hook on each side, right here, and one for the other side. And then this black flat cap piece. So we're going to put the black flat cap piece on here. So we've completed step six now. And on step seven, we're going to put a red piece right on here, and the red piece has a hook and that should be covering up the black part of it. So we're gonna put this down. So that is step seven. And we're gonna set this down and for step eight, we're gonna follow these three steps and we're gonna build it twice. It says two times, so we're gonna build it two times. So we grab one of these pieces and we put one hook on the back like this. So we have that hook on the back and then we put this red piece covering it. So we're gonna put this piece on, and it goes on right here, snaps down on this piece and on this piece. Okay, so we've created one, let's go ahead and create the other. So once again, we grab this piece right here, we add on a black piece that has a hook on it, and then we grab this red piece that fits over top of each of these. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to put these onto the actual body that we built earlier. And we're going to slip it into the black hooks on the sides. So we're gonna hook this one on here, and then on the other side, the other one that we have created, we're going to put this on here. 
And so now we have both pieces on as it should be. For this next step, we're going to add this black piece on to our creation. So we just add it on right here. It shows in front of these hooks and we're going to add it on right here. Then we're going to set it down for a little bit and work on this side. And so on this side, we have new instructions to build this part. So for our step one, we need a six brick. Okay, so we're going to add it, put it, the six brick here. And on top of the six brick, we're going to put two different pieces. The first piece we're going to put is this one. And we're going to put this down on the last two bricks of that. And the next piece that we're going to put is an eight brick meeting up with that one. On the first two sections, we're going to put this maroon colored piece. And then over these six pieces of the brick, we're going to put these white caps, which I got an extra one of these in my pack, which is good in case you lose any when you're packaging, but there's only supposed to be six in the pack, and they gave me seven. They actually gave me one other piece extra in one of the other sections, and I'll tell you which one it is when we get to it. So we put these six on, and then we're complete with that piece of it. For step four of this piece, we're going to put a six brick red one over top of these white that we have done. So we're just going to put that on there, and we're also going to add on this black piece. And this goes right here on the center of these. Okay. For step five, we're going to add a maroon piece to each side of the black. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to add a maroon piece here. And one for the other side as well. So now we have it on there. Now we'll go to step six. And for step six, we're going to go ahead and add this piece in. And we need to make two of these. So we're going to take this red piece and we're going to add a black piece onto it and the black piece goes onto it it slips in there like that and then we're going to do our other one so got the red piece and we're putting the black piece into it and it snaps together and then these pieces we're both going to add on to this section right here. So it shows it going down onto this section and that's what we're going to do. We're going to add it in there. So just a little firm pressure. And then on this side, the same thing. Okay, so now we have these pieces done. And then on step seven, it just shows that we're going to take these black pieces that are on here and flip them to the outside. So flip it here and we're going to flip it here. So now we have it done just like it shows in the booklet. One little piece, this little black piece that we also need to add onto the front of this. So we're gonna go ahead and add that black piece onto the front of this. And this piece is an angled piece. It looks like this. Okay, so we're gonna add that to the front. So we add it right there. And then let's go ahead and flip to our next set of directions. Okay, on top of this piece, we're going to add a maroon colored piece like this and coming out of the front we're going to have our flame so this is where we're going to add our flames to the front oops and we're going to put those in there so we've got our flames coming out and then on the top we're going to add one of these angled orange pieces. So I add this angled piece right on the top of that. Okay, so for step nine, we need to set up two of these initially. So I'm going to set this to the side, and we're going to grab two red pieces. You connect them together, and then on top, you put these orange pieces. So there's one of those completed and we're going to go ahead and make the other one as well so we, once again we take the two or two the two red pieces sorry put them together 
and then we're going to add these pieces on top. And I actually got one of these orange pieces as an extra as well. Okay, so now that we have those on, we're going, since we've created two of them, we're going to go ahead and put that on in the back. So we're going to put it right here on the back. And we've got it like that. And it looks exactly like what we see in the book. For step number 10, we're going to add these two red pieces on. These are the two red pieces that we'll be adding on, and we hook it right onto this black. So we're going to add it there, and then on this side, we'll add it here. Okay, and then for step 11, it shows that it just wants us to flip those up. So we're going to go ahead and flip those up, like this. So they're flipped up, and our piece is looking exactly like what's in the picture. Step 12 shows us adding these eyeballs on these spots right here. So we're going to go ahead and add an eyeball here. And then we're going to add an eyeball on this side. So we've got our eyeballs on. And then we're going to flip this up like this. And the piece that we originally started with which is right here, we are going to hook this in. If you notice on the back of this, right behind the eyeballs, there's a hook there. And we are going to hook this in right here on this piece. So we just snap it down in place. So now we've got it in place and I'm going to fold it forward and we've got the beginning of this. And then on the back end here for step 14, we're going to add the maroon colored piece we add a maroon colored piece right here. And then we're going to put one of those orange pieces on top of it right here. Step 15 shows us taking this hook piece and adding in this red long piece behind it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then attaching that right here on the back of our character so we're going to go ahead and do that as well so there we have that now we're going to look at the next section and for the next section we're going to build it's three steps right here we're going to take a four piece red and a four piece black put it on top of that then we're going to put this red piece on top of that so for step four, we're going to add this red piece on top. And then on top of this, this wild looking red piece like this. Okay. And we're going to create two of these. So we're going to go ahead and set that down. It says on step five to do it twice. So we are going to add another red piece and a black piece. And our angled red piece. Then our red two piece, and then once again, this red piece. So, so far we have this. And now in step 16, it shows that having this looking like this, we're gonna put our one piece on, let's see, right here in the socket. And there is a little socket in here that we hook it into. And then the other side, we're going to do the same thing over here. Like this. And now we've completed our pieces. And as I said, I had two extra pieces left with mine. So this is our Lego Mel Mixel Meltus, and you can see he looks very ferocious. He's great. I love doing this one. These were, it was really well put together, and it looks great. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button and, and join us each day for more toy unwrapping videos. Thanks for watching.